Hey everybody, Batmerk here. Today I'm going to be reviewing Adam Post's College of the Dead and uh, Adam Post's College of the Dead 2, Graduation Day. Um, just got this in the mail a couple days, been waiting for, uh, a little bit to read it and getting a day off to get it done. Um, came in this awesome uh, Gemini mailer right here and uh, both of the books were, um, you know, bagged and boarded with the awesome new um, uh, built-in tape. So I really loved it and I love the way that, uh, the, I don't know if it's a varnish or what, but the type of cover that he uses so cool it's it's just so clean and shiny and oh man makes me want to probably do um something like that for my campaign but before we get into that if you guys want you could check out uh my book right here it's a uh, butch cleaver it's launching in about two weeks on 7-eleven and you guys can get a free trading card uh, if you sign up and, and back around the launch time um this right here is the uh the inks for the trading card that i'm going to do and this is a uh, one of the appearances that butch has in the book he goes through a, a little bit of a metamorphosis as the story progresses and this is kind of uh, how he is somewhere in the beginning of the story and uh, it's a slaughterhouse so yeah if you guys want uh, you can check it out i'm going to be designing the card and adding color to it and um you come over to this campaign uh pre-sign up page it's right here it's for uh, butch cleaver it's basically it's a gothic uh horror western about a butcher who gets killed and he's, he's resurrected by a voodoo curse and it gives him power to weaponize bone on a molecular level so he's basically trying to figure out who killed him and um just go around the town and look for clues on that and discover his new powers and meeting some new people on the way and yeah if you want check it out and uh yeah so we'll get back to this right here so um basically the first uh story right here college of the dead one um it starts out in the college obviously and uh the the book um it's in black and white and uh, I really like the way the, the the book progresses and the way the, the colors are. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the black and white is. And uh, it reminded me too because uh, the, it reminded me a little bit of the uh, Night of the Living Dead series. I'm sure you guys have heard about this before, but I'm going to touch on it. The first Night of the Living Dead was in black and white and then Dawn of the Dead went to color. So it kind of reminded me, you know, what Adam Post is doing is his first book's in black and white. And then it moves into color as the second book. And it's written by Estefan Petrucha and Javier Aranda. And it's really cool. He, he he introduces these characters right in the beginning, the staff and students. I like the way it does that because it feels like it's a like a yearbook. You know what I mean? And you're going in there and they're they're doing like the Hall of Fame. And uh, there's some pretty shady uh, cancel uh, or uh, staff members on the uh, on the um, on the faculty of the uh, college. So yeah, you're going into the book, and um, I like the way just the story picks up and. Um, I really like the way um, he he really builds the characters and um, just the artwork looks really cool. It sucks you in and it just has that old like uh, that old school horror feel to it. And um, I like the characters too; they're really immersive and um, it really makes you it makes you think. And um, the way that the zombies come in, they 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 come in the story basically like a freight train. Kind of like the way uh, like the Joker comes into the Dark Knight. You know, everyone's kind of chilling, and then he just comes through and just messes everything up, just smashes through everything. And that's the way the uh, the, the zombies come into the story. They just come in like a force of nature, and they just start taking everybody out. And um, when, uh, what I like in here is I like the jocks, man. Um, they're kind of, you know, jocks are usually they're full of energy and stuff like that. But in here, they got a little something going on to give them a little juice. And, um, yeah, it's just it's really cool. Um there's this one panel I really like a lot with the uh, with the football players, and um, it's pretty it's pretty funny. It's this one right here. Clear heads and open some hearts. Can't lose. Yeah. So they're just running, you know, just going through, just plowing through those fools. Go go go. He's <laughs> yeah, baby. I love that part. It's one of my favorite parts of the book, and. Um, there's this there's this uh, really cool dynamic between uh, a mother and a, and a daughter in the book that it's uh, it's it could kind of resonate with some people and uh, it, it kind of builds through the story and uh, towards the end of the book it leaves you um, it leaves you basically like hungry and wanting more you know this got an awesome uh, cover right here I believe it's colored by Kyle Ritter too I got the critter sign right there and yeah and it, this it just it got me hungry for more and it just lined up the next book right here this is the cover I got love the artwork um and the colors and this one just picks up and right where the other one left off and uh i like the way he set this up right here it looks like a movie poster 
restricted rated R. Yeah, totally like a like a 1990s style or 70s or 80s style like Grindhouse or horror movie, you know, that Romero would do or something along those lines. And there's all these cool covers. Yeah. And, um, yeah, basically the story just picks up, you know, and it's like on the other side of the, the, the college. And um, there's, a, there's a, a couple of different, like, intertwining uh, side plots that are going on. And um, you're basically just getting like a, a – a, what I think he's doing with the story is he's trying to build like a ground level um, – view of the way of this zombie apocalypse and so you're you're just seeing that the way that some of these students are are responding to this apocalypse and uh that's that's what i like about this story right here it um kind of builds builds to that you know like what would happen if, if kids were actually you know dealing with a zombie apocalypse in college in uh, modern times and um you know i could say there's a couple of, of villains in here um but i don't want to spoil too much um there's some some awesome action, and um, yeah, there's this dude right here. He's like a folk guitar player that he's in the first book, and in here, um, there's a reference where um, he has an acoustic in the first one, a little spoiler, and then in this one, he has an electric. So I don't want to spoil too much of that, but um, yeah, I, I'll give you guys a little bit. I guess I will, but you, you've probably seen this online. Just whack! I love that. That's like one of my favorite parts on the book, and they're just you know wrecking, you know, just taking names not messing around and there's a lot of a lot of action in this in this book um definitely check it out and i love the colors they really pop personally me i i prefer um i prefer uh the i like the gore i like to see the colors and stuff like that it's it's really fun that that's just me personally compared to black and white um but i like the way that this began in black and white and it and it went into color it just really uh, helped the story for me like flow and i don't know it just set it up and it really reminded me of uh, the you know the evil or the the um the night of the living dead movie so i thought that was really cool but yeah if you guys want um this is in demand right now check it out it's a uh, college of the dead and the college of the dead too i give them both two horns way the fuck up and um yeah you can check out the uh the campaign right now it's still in demand guys you know and it's just getting bigger and bigger and i'm sure they're gonna make a they're, they're gonna make another one they got a you get two for 50, that's what I got, you can't beat that, and then they have more, like, they have, um, all these different variants you could collect, this is gonna be a big collector's item, I could almost guarantee this is gonna be, um, a movie or a TV show, now they have these ash cans too, and making of books, so it's basically, you know, like, say if you're into DVDs with the special features, this is like that, but it's a physical manifestation of that, so, something you can actually hold and look at and collect, and it's probably gonna be worth some money someday, so go and, go ahead and over, uh, to uh, go ahead and go over to um, collegeofthedead.com and it'll bring you here. And uh, I'll have a link in the description too. And uh, yeah, just to to say, you know, like I love these covers. I love the the, the black and white how it how it shifts to, to color in the second book. Um, I do think that this would could be an awesome TV show or maybe even a movie. Uh, these two books could definitely make like a, a movie together. And uh, check out um, Adam Post's uh, channel if you're in a comics gate you could uh he's got a lot of really good tips helped me out a lot over the past few months and uh i was at the uh the beer store today and i came upon this uh devil's canyon brewing company dedicated amber ale looks pretty awesome um i really like red beers a lot the, the dark beers too there's a big craze right now with all the um all the uh you know IPAs and it's cool to see something different every now and then sometimes we brew No particular way, but our own you can't deny who am I to deny? There's no agreement on this style So we set out brewing an American amber ale taking our time and we found a path for our steps alone Dedicated amber ale pours a beautiful tawny color with a fine lace head You'll find this rich medium bodied ale to have a well-balanced bouquet with a crisp uh, cascade hop finish Multiple awards later, it goes to show you don't even know. Okay, so it's dedicated at devilscanyon.com. So go ahead and uh, take a crack at it. I'll let you look at this beautiful cover. Yep, that's it right there. It smells pretty bomb, too. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's that's delicious. That's really fucking good. Yeah, I definitely give this one right here. Dedicated Amber Ale, two horns up. 
And as always, folks, if you like metal, you like movies, you like brewskis, you like comics, then stop on by, ring that bell, smash that like for metal, movies, and brewskis. You folks have a great day. Be bold and be brave.